Do I really have to go to church in order to follow Jesus? I mean, how important is church, really? I'm a pastor, and so you might assume that you know what my answer to that would be, but you might be surprised. I think a lot of us picture something in our mind when we hear the word church, and for a lot of us, that picture is just not a good one. For some, that picture it might be a, a picture of scandal or abuse or of hypocrisy or other examples of religion gone bad. Or maybe it's, uh, maybe it's more a picture of, re of religious leaders gone bad or religious leaders left unaccountable. Or institutions that seem to be more uh, concerned about rules than people. Or churches that use their power to protect the powerful rather than to uplift the powerless. Or maybe uh, institutions that are more in, uh, concerned about winning than loving. There are an awful lot of terrible examples. For others of us, uh, the picture is not so much a, a picture of religion gone bad, but rather religion gone stale, of just like of, of ritual and boredom. Like maybe church was something that meant something to us as a kid, but now uh, it just seems completely irrelevant to us now. If those are the types of images that come to mind when we think of church, it is safe for me to say, no, you don't need any of that in order to follow Jesus. You don't need to participate in empty ritual or participate in something that, that you feel like is harmful in order to follow Jesus. You can say no to that. It's okay. Not that you need my permission, but there it is. However, it is clear when we look at the Bible that the journey of following Jesus is a group activity. There are so many passages in the Bible about how the group is to function and how leaders are to lead and how we're to support and encourage one another and how we can each, um, how, how we each have a, a unique role to play according to our own gifts and abilities. Uh, it, it's clear from the Bible that we need each other. And so even though uh, churches get it wrong a lot, that doesn't change the fact that a big part of the life of following Jesus is, a, is, is all about how we can follow Jesus together as a group. So when we say uh, yes to Jesus but no to community, it's like saying yes to playing professional football but no to being part of a team, as if we could play all the positions simultaneously as a tiny team of one. So, do we have to participate in something that we feel is harmful or do we have to participate in empty ritual in order to follow Jesus? The answer is no. Does that mean we can do it alone? No. Because God has designed the journey of following Jesus to only work in dependence upon Him and in interdependence upon others. So if you are open to knowing more about Jesus and maybe even following Jesus, please find a community that feels like home a community that can support you and help you, a community where you can jump in and provide help and support to others also. And if it takes a while to find it, that's okay. If you, if you need a community that is small and intimate, great, find that. Or if you need a community that, that's really involved in issues like, like human rights and social justice, that, that, that's great, find that. Or if you need a community that's all about study, to where you can learn about the Bible and about theology and, and all that, that, that's great. There is as much diversity among churches as there is among people, and that's fine. There's a lot of right answers in the kingdom of God. It's okay to find one that works for you. But when you do, don't expect it to be perfect, because it's going to be as messy and as imperfect as you are, as we all are. But hopefully it'll feel like home. And hopefully you'll be able to experience the life-giving interdependence with others that God wants for you to experience. Listen, I know that it is hard to overcome bad examples, and there are certainly no shortage of bad examples of churches. It's even harder to overcome bad experiences. If you've had a terrible experience at a church, uh, you are not alone. There are a lot of us out there. But if God has designed uh, the journey of following Jesus to be a group activity, then that means the church might be worth another shot. Wherever it is, whatever it looks like, I sincerely hope you are able to find the type of community that you need. Um, and please keep searching until you find it. And also, if you're finding these videos uh, useful, please like and subscribe to this channel. It really does help.